How's everybody doing here? Matt Sardo, Monkeys Fighting Robots. This week on the panel breakdown, we are going to talk about Gwen Stacy number one. Christos Gage wrote the book. Todd Nook uh, is the artist. Rochelle Rosenberg is the colorist on this book. One of the biggest things that stands out right away is the uh, Adam Hughes and the J. Scott Campbell covers. These things knock it out of the park. Like, Adam Hughes, you know what you're going to get with him. But, like, he is able to capture that, like, innocence in comic books. Like, he, this face right here. Like, you've seen that smile before in other people and it brings a smile to your face. Like, he's able to capture that. And then, completely on the different end, is J. Scott Gamble. And, you know, he... Loves his figure on women, to put it bluntly. But what I really like, I mean, Gwen Stacy, her look is the eyes and the hair. And that is that motif right here in this little band, uh, the headband right there. But what I like here is the butterflies. Uh, you got the Spider-Man butterflies. You got the Green Goblin butterflies. And I like the way it bounces out, uh, fades into the logo here. I thought that was really done well. And for some reason, in my head, when I saw this, like, the butterflies, it's like a dance with the devil is what hit me. You know, uh, that's what I saw. It's like there's this there's this dance, you know, and it's the two sides of the coins. I mean, like, you got Green Goblin was definitely, like, evil. Uh, but then Spider-Man also puts Gwen Stacy in a lot of bad positions, too. So, you know, it's a dance with the devil that she's put herself through. Um, but uh, this book kind of, for me, has, like, an archy feel to it. Because uh, it's in high school, it's kind of wholesome. The artwork is very art, seems kind of Archie-ish to me. Right here, this is a good splash page to introduce Gwen and Harry Osborne. Uh, I love this intro page, this soft colors, and then this look of Gwen right here, like that's just very iconic look right there. And uh, so you got this, she's in high school, she's running for president. Uh, very. Archie ass like this panel right here the eyes right here and then you know you got this I don't know maybe it's anti Archie since like this guy gets his head tossed to him but like this this panel right here just remind me of Betty and Archie right here and then it goes sideways as you can tell but the comic book itself is is, pr is pretty standard uh, when it comes to the storytelling and the artwork and the henchmen and it's because it's set in old school Spider-Man universe, but with modern updates here and there. So it was interesting to see the flair of what goes on. And um, Nook's art, and which basically is the evolution of comics right now, is that there's a lot of room left for Rochelle Rosenberg to amp it up with her colors. And, and that's what she does. I mean, she builds a lot of Tones and highlights in this Harry Osborn right here. This is, you know, this used to be etching back in the day, but like there's like six different colors going through here that are building up that hand and, and the face and then the tones of Gwen. And just, it was good. The textures, like you can definitely tell Gwen is different than, than Harry right here. And then because it's like this 60s vibe, you got some nice bold colors and some Dick Tracy Archie, like I'm getting all those different vibes here. Um, and it was nice little nods to the different characters in the Marvel Universe here uh, that I really liked. But what I did wanted to show you is, is the coloring and how it shifts from like day to night. And it completely changed my aspect of the look of the feel of the character. So I was like, oh, okay. I liked his Todd style and everything like that. Uh, what's going on here? It's got a little, you know, a little J. Scott Campbell, a little Humberto Ramos uh, going on here because it's a little cartoonish, uh, but not as cartoonish as Humberto. Um, but this face right here is very J. Scott Campbell. And then when it transitions to night, there's Peter Parker popping up in the library. Uh, I like I like these little nods, and I mean this this is definitely an iconic Peter Parker right there. So here, uh, Gwen is at the library, they're going to the library, and it's light, and it's bright out, and then they shift to darkness, and I was like looking at these panels here, and the way Gwen, uh, Captain Stacy looks, and these characters, I was like, 
This is Mark Bagley 90s right here with these dark tones, this right here. And it totally made me think of Mark Bagley. And it was amazing just the, the color shift. I, I mean, honestly, I think it's like a little over inked if I'm going to say anything about it. Like these dark, dark lines here and there. And, you know, like under the eyes and here and this whole side of the face. But it it's amazing how it shift, completely shifted uh, my... Look at this panel here of Gwen and her boyfriend. But look at these soft tones in the skin. And then it goes to night and it immediately just goes very monotonish. And I thought, you know, I was like, oh, it was, it was kind of like just a little disjointed with it here. And then you kind of flip through the story and it comes back. And like this panel looks amazing. Like this is a dark panel, but I feel like it's a thousand times better than the other panels before it, these two pages. I don't know if some, what's going on with this, but if you look, look at uh, Captain Stacy here, hard lines, hard lines, um, you know, hard inking, hard coloring, you know, guy came up from behind, some guy behind her, and I'm trying to see where the hard, and then the hard lines, and then you flip it, and then things get soft. It's still dark, but it's soft, and it's completely different. And that could be for story because this is a very soft moment. You know, he's very fragile. She's very compassionate. So this is a very soft. And so the emotions come pouring off it. Where this is like gangsters and shootings and, you know, uh, death. I mean, so harder lines, you know, harder times. I don't know how you, whatever metaphor you want to place into this. But I would have preferred it more like this. I mean, I like this. It, the consistency it just seems like there's something with these two pages that's completely into this and in this panel is brilliant i mean because it's you, know, you got amazing rule of thirds you can use the tile floors or rule of thirds like gwen is like perfectly placed in this for the rule of thirds and then it also kind of leads you look and you kind of lead down and it leads you to this corner i mean that's just a brilliant layout of it you know and you start off Come in here, light shines this way, then you come back up, down, across, up, and then down. And then it kind of, you look at the panel and it fades out to this corner. And you flip the corner, and I love this page too. Because then it goes to Ben Parker, and this to go see her eyes, and then bounces to this, and go to your eyes, down, this, and then the hug. Like you can see the movement here, and the light kind of pops up. You see it kind of like, see it pops up here but for some reason like I feel the the hug going this way and the leg kind of moving and uh, I, I thought that these two pages are brilliantly laid out and brilliantly done and again I Rochelle's colors on this are just knock it out of the park and then the the gaze is perfect to uh, Captain Stacy's face and it's just it's and you feel you know you can see the light coming in like there's so many amazing things about this page and I love that it leads me out to this page you know leads me out of the page and then go from here and you're like right at the top and then it goes straight to the eyes and the eyes the gazing is perfect on it and I love these pages but overall I enjoyed the book uh, there's a lot of stuff in there for spider-man nerds and uh, you know if you're a Gwen Stacy fan like you kind of get the feeling of why Gwen Stacy is this iconic character I mean Gwen Stacy was way dead before I came around to the scene and I was always a Mary Jane type of character preferred Mary Jane's character to Gwen Stacy uh, but there's been this revival of Gwen Stacy it's pretty good and I, th I think a story like this gets to the heart of the character and I think that Archie Dick Tracy feel to it really works for the story so um, if you're a fan of Spider-Man I would totally um, pick it up if you're a fan of Spider-Man I would totally pick it up as well I think there's some really cool things in here and I think the story might kind of build off of this. So I would kind of, I would recommend this book. Um, I think there's there's some cool backstory going on with Spider-Man's mythos that uh, if you're a Spider-Man fan, you'll enjoy. Again, I'm Matt Sardom. This is the panel breakdown uh, on Monkey Spider Robots. And if you enjoyed it, uh, give it a thumbs up. So uh, thank you very much and see you guys next week.